okay, Toby, let's look at some pink colors for that project, okay? What do you think? I, I kind of like these over here. Do you like these? You like these better? Huh? You like those better? Well, I don't know if I like those. Forget it. We're going with these, Toby. Oh, gosh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Toby and I were picking paint colors, and apparently I don't like his choices. We're going with mine. But welcome back to Tim Time Design, and today we're going on our field trip, part two, to uh, Bay Trading Company in Door County. So if you guys are ready, I am. Let's go. So here, an antique that's also fun. Terrence, where did this come out of? This came out of a container from Vietnam. We bought a, a, a huge container, a 40-foot container. And actually, um, this particular piece is bronze, okay. and it's got a great tone. The, the railing around it has been replaced, and we ended up with uh, a number of them that were going to a decorator who went broke. So we ended up with them, somebody else's. I could totally see using this in like an entry hall situation as a focal point. Nice to have coffee. You just hit it, hit it and, and somebody gets you coffee. And it arrives. And yes. it arrives. Right. <laughs> just like that. Oh, I see. Here's, here's yeah, several more right here. These are neat because these are... What is that? These are is that stone? That's petrified wood from Indonesia. Indonesia, I believe, Whoa. is the only country that will allow petrified wood to leave the country. And uh, these are pieces that have been made into koi fish. They come in two different sizes and we've sold, uh, sold a bunch of them this summer. Wow, yeah. very cool. I could see like several of these like on a buffet in a dining room. Or in a sushi restaurant. Or in a restaurant. Or next to your pond. Let's see what else we have here. We have... This is like a kid in a candy store. Back here, these items are from uh, there are items from several different countries. Some of these are from uh, the Philippines. Some of these are from Thailand. And some of them are from uh, Tibet. That particular piece right there is a Tibetan piece. And we have several Tibetan pieces in here because uh, at one point, the Chinese were allowing things to come out of Tibet. And we were fortunate enough to get several pieces from Tibet, most of them have been sold, however. Did they stop? Or were they you not allowed they to get have them now stopped the export of items from Tibet. We have one other item over here, the Blue Man of Buddha. Oh, wow. Uh, and that particular item is also from Tibet. This guy here. That guy right there. Very cool. Very cool. I love this. This looks like almost primitive art. That is an incredible piece. That is actually. A, from a kitty, kitty ride in India, and really? it is over 90 years old, wow. and we had the entire, the entire kitty ride, and we were in India last year, and in a store in India, if you negotiated, that piece was $600, and here, the price is... 295 And Terrence always tries to make a deal. He does. He, he, so yes. that is an incredible piece. This I've kept really several is. of them for myself off of a kiddie ride. That is really cool. Really cool. One of the I oldest, neatest items in here. Wow. One of the other horses is over there. We only have a, oh, here. a couple of them left. And uh, the rest have been sold. But there's one of the horses that would have been on the same uh, kitty ride. Beautifully carved. And you said how old are they again? They're they are on the sheets. Many company uh, countries do not allow items to leave their country if it's over a hundred years old. So sometimes what they'll do is you'll see a sheet and it'll be 90 years old, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. They want to keep it 10 years under what is the break off to let it out of the country. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's 90. It could be 110, it could be 100, it could be... It, that's what they put down on the sheets for export. Okay. I think these are one really great design accessory. They're, I assume, old screens, Terrence, right? From uh, Asia or something? These are to from... hang on a wall or, or do a lot of different things uh, with them. I think they're just a great a one alone type of a thing uh, to add interest in a room and whatever. So how did you acquire these and what are, can you tell us a little these bit about these guys? These came from a container from Vietnam. Oh. And as you can see here, some of them have a high ridge. Yes. This would have actually been a screen 
inside of a building that would have slid on a track. And they would have had rice paper over this, and it would have been to block off parts of a room or uh, in an interior room. A lot of people today are taking and they're putting a 1 8 inch mirror behind it, mm -hmm. and when you look at it, you have the effect of seeing the mirror come through the entire small areas of design, and it's really quite spectacular uh, for what it is. You can really do some creative idea, uh, things with them. Very cool, very cool. And then these, these portables actually caught my eye too. You know, so many people will buy one of these types of things just to put on a wall and have something sit on it, not my style. What I would do to make it more interesting is to do a pair and run a glass shelf across, to, like in a dining room, a living room, and now you've got a place to put a lamp, etc., etc. instead of just a one thing on the wall, see my porcelain statue. Uh, did these also come in the same shipment? No, or these, what are are, these, uh, these are carved in Thailand, and oh, we wow. have actually probably at any given time 50 to 100 corbels of various kinds. They're all hand carved and uh, we sell them basically here for what many people will buy them for uh, uh, will pay uh, double what right. we charge. So like what is one, let's say? One somebody... of these, depending on your purchase here, yeah. uh, would be anywhere from 50 to $75 wow. depending on what you're buying and how much you're buying. Sure, sure, we sure. obviously try to uh, give people who are doing a quantity of right. items a, a, a deal. So and come all... here and buy quantity. <laughs> Nothing is the same. <laughs> and these are fantastic. These they are. are. Fantastic. Terrence, where did these come from? These are from France. These are uh, in the area of 100 years old. They're very heavy and they have been stripped of all their paint. Hmm. And uh, they're just uh, an incredible, an incredible item. Very and cool. And it's sitting right next to some pieces that come from Afghanistan in that area. Oh. They are pieces of what swinging like, doors. Oh, okay. And like these are swinging doors, okay. and these these are all swinging doors. Wow. So, how would you get that from Afghanistan? They actually are brought into Pakistan, and then they're shipped out of Karachi, of Pakistan because there's a lot of trade going back and forth and they trade grain into Afghanistan for items like this and then they come into Pakistan and they're shipped out of Pakistan. Wow. Terrence, is this nettle in here? Or this what is. is this? What this is, this? is from India. It's listed at being, uh, we estimate it's 120 years old. Wow. Each one of these pieces here was put on by a forge by hand and each piece of nettle was twisted oh. into this grate. This would have been a grate as a window grate to um, obviously it's very warm uh -huh. and um, this would have been a just a window grate in a home wow. but it's a very old piece very cool i love you wouldn't even think it's metal but when you're touching it here it's like like nautical you know knots i could totally see this using the this as a window like what you right. said like if I were doing like a nautical bathroom or something like that, I think it's like super, super cool. We and have, heavy, and heavy. We've had a couple of people take items like this, actually put legs on it and put a glass on the top oh. and use it as a glass, uh, as, end table as an end table with this fantastic rope wow. work design it's in there. It's and beautiful. there's a nice little ridge in here where the glass could fit right smack in yeah. there and basically works. Perfect, perfect. I guess I'm working out, I can lift it. <laughs> <laughs>well I was thinking of this one over here do you like well Toby what I no was that better that's mm -hmm. better you're you're uh, babbling less so <laughs> so uh